Good morning, everyone. We're going to continue with Chapter 12 of Charlotte's Web. Chapter 12, A Meeting. One evening, a few days after the writing had appeared in Charlotte's Web, the spider called a meeting of all the animals in the barn cellar. Shall I begin by calling the roll? Wilbur, here, said the pig. Gander, here, 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 said the gander. You sound like three ganders, muttered Charlotte. Why can't you just say here? Why do you have to repeat? It's my idio, idio, idiosyncrasy, replied the gander. Goose, said Charlotte. Here, 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 said the goose. Charlotte glared at her. Goslings, one through seven. Bee, 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 said the goslings. This is getting to be quite a meeting, said Charlotte. Anyone would think we had three ganders, three geese, and 21 goslings. Sheep? Ma answered all the sheep together. Lambs? Ma answered all the lambs together. Templeton? No answer. Templeton? No answer. Well, we're all here except the rat, said Charlotte. I guess we can proceed without him. Now, all of you must have noticed what's been going on around here the last few days. The message I wrote in my web, praising Wilbur, has been received. The Zuckermans have fallen for it, and so has everyone else. Zuckerman thinks Wilbur is an unusual pig, and therefore he won't want to kill him and eat him. I dare say my trick will work, and Wilbur's life can be saved. Hooray, cried everybody. Thank you very much, said Charlotte. Now I called this meeting in order to get suggestions. I need new ideas for the web. People are already getting sick of reading the word some pig. If anybody can think of another message or remark, I'll be glad to weave it into the web. Any suggestions for a new slogan? How about Pig Supreme, asked one of the lambs. Not good. It sounds like a rich dessert. There's all the animals gathered together. How about Terrific, 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 asked the goose. Cut that down to one terrific, and it'll do very nicely. I think terrific might impress Suckerman. But Charlotte, said Wilbur, I'm not terrific. That doesn't make a particle of difference, replied Charlotte. Not a particle. People believe almost anything they see in print. Does anybody here know how to spell terrific? I think, said the gander, it's T double E double R double R double I double F double I double C C C C C. What kind of acrobat do you think I am, said Charlotte. I would have to have St. Vitus's dance to re like that into my web. Sorry, 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 said the gander. Then the oldest sheep spoke up. I agree that there should be something new written in the web if Wilbur's life is to be saved. And if Charlotte needs help finding words, I think she can get it from our friend Templeton. The rat visits the dump regularly and has access to old magazines. He can cheer, tear out bits of advertisements and bring them here to the barn cellar so that Charlotte can have something to copy. Good idea, said Charlotte, but I'm not sure that Templeton would be willing to help. You know how he is, always looking out for himself, never thinking of another. I bet I can get him to help, said the old sheep. I'll appear to appeal to his baser instincts, of which he has plenty. Here he comes now. Everyone keep quiet while I put the matter up to him. The rat entered the barn, as he always did, creeping close along the wall. What's up? he asked, seeing the animals assembled. We're holding a director's meeting, replied the old sheep. Well, break it up, said Templeton. Meetings bore me. And the rat began to climb a rope that hung against the wall. Look, said the old sheep, next time you go to the dump, Templeton, bring back a clipping from a magazine. Charlotte needs new ideas so she can write messages in her web and save Wilbur's life. Let him die, said the rat. Why should I worry? You'll worry all right when next winter comes, said the sheep. You'll worry all right on a zero morning next January when Wilbur's not with us and no one comes here with a nice pail of warm slops for the trough. Wilbur's leftover food is your food supply, Templeton, and you know that. Wilbur's food is your food. Therefore, Wilbur's destiny and your destiny are linked. If Wilbur is killed and his trough stands empty day after day, you'll grow so thin we can look through your stomach and see objects on the other side. Wilbur's, I'm sorry, Templeton's whiskers quivered. Maybe you're right, he said gruffly. I'm making a trip to the dump tomorrow afternoon. I'll bring back a magazine clipping if I can find one. Thanks, said Charlotte. The meeting is now adjourned. I have a busy evening ahead of me. I've got to tear my web apart and write terrific. Wilbur blushed, but I'm not terrific, Charlotte. I'm just about average for a pig. You're terrific as far as I'm concerned, replied Charlotte sweetly, and that's what counts. You're my best friend, and I think you're sensational. Now stop arguing and get some sleep. And we'll continue with Charlotte's Web tomorrow. Take care, guys. Bye.